Well, hello, crafting friends. It's Kevin Esty from Stamping Just for Fun. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator located on the east coast of Canada in Nova Scotia. And welcome to the March 2022 Gentleman Crafters Design Team Blog Hop. I am going to be showing you how to make this wonderful card today uh, using the Oceanfront stamp set. I'm also pulling in some elements from another stamp set as well, um, the birds and the sentiment. You'll notice the stamp set doesn't have any sentiments with it, but we have lots of other stamp sets that have sentiments. I'm using another nature-inspired uh, stamp set called On the Horizon, and I'm going to use the uh, wishing you so much happiness sentiment and the birds and um, it, there's some more sort of sea grassy things here that you could substitute between these 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 work really well together so that's uh, the stamp sets we're going to use for this card this is a fairly simple and straightforward card if you know my style you know I like clean simple cards with not a whole lot of fuss and layers to them I like to do things that anybody can accomplish with very uh, limited supplies and whatnot I am going to use a variety of ink colors today and I'm going to use some sponge daubers uh, to add some varying effects but you don't have to use as many colors as I have to accomplish this card so for the sunset I am using pale papaya as the main base color and I'm adding on some so saffron yellow to uh, give it an appearance of a sunset a gradiented sunset okay for the water I am using Misty, sorry, I'm using Pool Party as my base, and I'm going to sponge dauber on some Misty Moonlight just to give some gradient to the water. So there's the two colors for my water. For my beach, I'm using Sahara Sand as a base, and then I'm adding some Cinnamon Cider to it just again to give it some gradient and texture if you don't have that many different colors you really only need either an orange or yellow a blue color and then a sandy brown color okay for my grasses I'm using soft succulent and pear pizzazz so I do have a lot of different colors here to use like I said you could make this card just using one or two simple colors so let's get started just going to line these up off to the side here. I've got some sponge daubers that I'm going to use as well. So I've got one for my blues, one for my yellows, one for my browns. I have a thick white card base that measures eight and a half by five and a half. So half of a sheet scored in the middle at four and a quarter. That's pretty standard. Okay. I have a matting layer of Misty Moonlight, which is just an eighth of an inch smaller than that. So if I have my measurements correct here, this is four and an eighth wide by five and three eighths tall. And then I have another regular white layer that is four by five and a quarter. That would be what we would normally put on the front of a card. But that extra misty moonlight is just going to give us that nice little blue, blue layer. Okay, we're going to do our stamping. <clears throat> I want to bring in my stamp and pierce mat or some kind of a foam mat to uh, have on hand because these are photopolymer stamps. I'm going to start with my middle image okay it's easier to line things up uh, you'll see because the stamps are kind of an odd shape a couple of them so I'm going to start with that you do need a large block so this is our uh, E size block and I'm just going to start by lining this up this is the horizon between my water and sky and so I'm going to line it up across the middle of my cardstock so it looks straight pick that up on my block okay and <clears throat> I put it about the middle of the card here but I want to ease the space for my sentiment a little bit so I think I'm just going to do it a little bit lower okay. I'm going to get my pool party ink out and just make sure that this is all in view of the camera here for you so I'm going to ink up the entire stamp 
with the pool party. Then I get my Misty Moonlight, my Sponge Dauber. I'm just going to go across the top edge here. And I'm, you know, kind of going down a little bit in a couple of spots. And then I'm going to do a little more down here, and a little more here, and a little more down there. That's it. Don't have to do a lot of fussing with this. And then that is going to go just a little lower than the midpoint on my card. Just like that. Now when you first stamp, it is wet and gooey and it looks very dark. And it looks like it has a lot of contrast in it. But as it dries, you're going to see that the colors are going to smooth out and blend and you're not going to see that kind of grainy, sandy look to it. Okay? So, I need my cleaner here to clean this off the chamois we're done with that one so now let's go to the sky layer again <clears throat> just to keep things lined up easy I'll lay that on there now they can overlap a little bit at the bottom um, and it's, it's up to you if you want to do that, but they're designed so that you can overlap them and it shouldn't cause you any problems. Okay, so we've got that one. So now we're going to do our So Saffron and our Pale Papaya. So, Pale Papaya all over everything. There we go. And I'll grab my Yellow Dauber. And I want my sunset yellow. How did I do that? Yep, okay. At the bottom. So I'm going really, really super heavy with the yellow down here at the bottom. And then I'm just kind of going to kind of work it up and tap a little lighter as I go up. And I'm kind of putting more towards the middle of it so that you know, when the sun goes down, the sun kind of goes down in one spot and you get this arc of color. So that's going to give me my sunset. Just overlap those a little bit. Press for a moment. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. And the stamp has these natural light and dark areas in it that make it look just like clouds. Okay, let's clean that one. <clears throat> okay. Then the last layer is the beach layer. And that one goes on the downward angle here. And you really have to overlap it when i did my first stamp with it here i didn't quite get it overlapped so my water doesn't quite come over the sand it looks a little funny there that's okay nobody's going to notice that so i am going to overlap it and what happens is you get these dark spots where the water uh, overlaps the blue overlaps the brown and it gives it the look of waves lapping up on the beach so that's actually how it's supposed to be so we're going to pick that up like that right we are going to do Sahara sand all over the whole thing like that. I'll turn it sideways rather than upside down. And I'm going to bring in some cinnamon cider. And I just want to go along that water edge with the cinnamon cider a little bit. And then down here, maybe a little, maybe a little right there, just like that. Okay. <clears throat> Close these up. And overlap it a little.
There we go. Yeah, and you get that nice effect of the waves lapping up against the water. Okay. Then, I want all the different grasses here. This tall one. There's also um, a little spotted one that you can use if you want to add texture to uh, the, the foreground area or the sky or whatever. <clears throat> and there's rocks. I did not use the rocks in my sample card. Save those for another time. And I'm just going to pick up a smaller block here because I don't need quite so big a block. And I'm going to bring in my greens. So I'm going to start with this large leafy green. <coughs> and I'm using soft succulent. And I'm just going to put one. two of those, like that, okay? And then keeping the soft succulent and going to the smallest leaf, green, grass. <laughs> We're going to do one of those just here. And one of those just there okay done with that one and then i'm going to pick up this one and switch to my pear pizzazz once you get going with this it doesn't take long to get it all together and i'm just overlapping these a little here Put another one just here, like that. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to go back to my misty moonlighting. You could use a gray. You could use you could just use black if you want to. And I'm going into my on the horizon stamp set, and I'm going to bring out the birds and that sentiment that I liked. And get my birds the right way around here. <clears throat> I'm going to come off of my stamp and pierce mat because this is a stamp set that has the foam behind it, so I don't need the stamp and pierce mat foam. And we'll put the birds in the sky here. And then I need that sentiment. And that's just going to go up here in the corner. Like that. There we are. Beautiful. All right. All of this out of the way. Bring in our card base. Blue. We're also going to use some of these beautiful faux sea glass shapes. I am going to fold and burnish my card base. See, when my trimmer cut, it kind of scalloped the edge a little there. So we'll flatten that out. Good. Okay. Then we're going to put down our mat layer. It goes on there with just a sixteenth of an inch showing on all four sides. Like that. And then this layer is going to go right on top. This is probably one of the first cards in a long time I've done that I didn't use any dimensionals. And I suppose I could have either built this layer up, the blue and the stamp layer, and then put them up on dimensionals, or just this piece doesn't matter though. I, it's, it's, this is a nice 
flat, heavy card. Okay. And then we're just going to add some of these fun little sea glass shapes down here on the bottom. I don't know if you'd stumble upon sea glass exactly on the beach like that, but and these little ones. But these little things are so fun. No, 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 where's my, which is my sticky side? There we go. All right. So there's my original sample and the one we just made together. I certainly hope that you enjoy that. And uh, I hope that you will stick around and go to the bottom of this post. If you are watching this video via my YouTube channel, which is where I tend to upload my videos first before I add them to my website, then you need to go over to my website at stampingjustforfun.ca. And in my blog post, you're going to find the measurements and everything for the card. You're going to see the video. And then just below that, you're going to find the links to all the other gentlemen who are participating in this month's uh, craft hop. And uh, go and have a look at what they create, too. Um, they're a really good group of men from around the world, and they have some really good creative ideas. I myself cannot wait to see what they share. All right. Have a good day, and we'll see everybody next month.